Teespring tutorial for beginners complete tutorial. In this video, we are going to be talking about how you're going to use Teespring for yourself and how you can simply create different types of products that engage your fans and help you monetize your content. So you'll have no cost, no hassle and no risk. So to start things off, what we are going to be doing is we're going to go to teespring.com and we're going to click on start creating. Now, once you click on start creating, we're going to bring you here. So it says create with spring sell on social. So we're going to go ahead and sign in. And the sign in process is pretty simple. You're simply going to sign in with a name, email and password. Now, for this instance, what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be using a temp mail for myself, but you don't necessarily have to do that. You can use any email that you have. It's pretty simple. So I'm going to copy this. I'm going to add it here. I'm going to click on I am not a robot. We're going to click on sign up. And once we click on sign up, it takes you over here where it says welcome. So welcome to string. Let's set up your store. Enter your desired store URL. So I'm simply going to go ahead and write something like that and click on continue. So once we click on continue, it's going to go ahead and take us to the design launcher. So here is where all the fun starts. So down here, we can see that we have a lot of designs going on okay there's a lot of designs over here where we can actually go ahead and start working on things and it's not only on shirts or sweatshirts or hoodies it's on pretty much everything so if you want to go ahead and actually see the catalog you can come to create and here you can go to the different things like new products bestsellers apparel you know you have hats digital home and decor so this is what we have in the bestsellers so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go with this and let's go ahead with something like this, a mug. Okay. Now, once we go with th these, what you're going to do is you're going to design your product in your way. So let's say I want to add an image around the mug and it's an image that I want to keep specifically for my designs. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to choose an image that I feel like is a good image that goes across the whole design page. So. What I'm going to do is I'm going to choose this image over here. Let's say I'm going to choose that. And as you can see, it tells us to expand the image and keep it inside these borders. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to hold them, bring them here. You can also rotate them, make them bigger or smaller. That depends on you. And you can see the previews from this section. So this is what your design is going to look like. And then we can do the same for back. We're going to click on add image or you can add a text for yourself, by the way. So I'm going to bring this here. OK, and let's say I'm going to go ahead and write something. Let's say I'm going to write that and we're going to keep it right over here in the center, just like this. And once we've done that, we're going to click on preview. And now we have this. And when you rotate it, there is going to be the text written behind it. You can also choose the product colors like uh, let's say it could be a black colored glass, a gray colored glass, whatever you want. It's all dependent on you. It depends on the style you want to go with. And then you can set your pricing. So it could be in the United States, it could be in the European. So I'm going to go with US. You can keep a profit per sale like this as well. And in advance, you can showcase how this design has appeared in your store. So it basically brings you proper catalog pictures. So look at this. We have full flash catalog pictures over here, which helped me realize that my text is not visible. So you can go ahead and change your text color to any color you think will look good. So let's say I'm going to go with this one and look at this. Look, look at the style of the image. You can actually go on preview and you can see the preview of the image as you want. It's pretty easy and pretty simple. So this is basically what you're going to do. And then you're going to go into product details where you're going to make sure that all these details are what you want. And if you do simply click on continue, this basically will take you to the styles section. Now, the style section is a place where you're going to mess with the different, you know, variants or stylings you can add. So we're going to go to our style section and here you can see you have this mock up create a new listing for yourself. So let's say I'm going to call it just call it mug. We're going to add a description. You can add a description that goes well with the mug and it, it is pretty, you know, compulsory to add a de description without a description. You don't really have a complete product. So add a proper description for yourself and then you have URL handle. So let's say I'm going to call it killer mug. That is what we're calling it. So if it's already in use, just try a different URL and look at that. 
then visibility on who sees it and if we're good with all of that we're going to click on launch listing and this gets launched onto your page and as you can see it goes ahead and starts generating product images now when this happens let's also go ahead and start our work on our very own hoodie so on our hoodie we can obviously, first of all, by the way, change the colors and see whatever type we want. So what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to click on add image and we're going to add an image over our design. Now, it could be an image that could look like anything. So in my case, let's go ahead with this. Let's go ahead with this. You know, I want to add this to my design. What you can do is you can increase the size. So. You're also going to want to make sure that the resolution for your artwork is proper, because if it's not, it will give you errors and that will cause your design to, you know, not be so good. And it can cause you a lot of issues in the territory of printing, because once the product gets printed, that is when you're going to want to make sure that everything in your product is as perfect as it can be. So what I'm going to do is I'm simply going to add this. Okay. And once we do this, we're going to bring it here. There we go. And now you can actually preview it. You can check it. You can see the shine over it just like that. And you can choose the different colors for yourself. So let's say I want it on this color. I want it on this. I want it on this, etc. Keep a price. And again, on the back, you can choose to add text for yourself. Advanced. You can see how this is showcased. And click on continue. Now, once we do that, we're going to go over to styles. Now, in styles, obviously, you have variety and different variants that you can add for yourself. So let's say I'll go ahead and add a mug. OK, so to add a mug, you can simply come over here and add this in your variants. We're going to go ahead and add this in our variants. Whatever you want can be added. And once you're done with all of that, you're going to click on continue where it brings you to the launch setting. And obviously in the launch setting, you're finally, as I stated, going to give yourself a title, description, advanced, edit different handles, and you're good to go. And as you can see, congratulations, mug is now live. And you can actually go ahead and view the listing. You can see how your mug is actually, you know, doing in the store while seeing its preview and look at that you know that looks pretty incredible and it looks pretty cool looks like a proper mug you can see the back side you can see the mid cut out of it and you can see that so it's incredible quality and trust me this is what teespring is good for it will give you good products to actually work with and proper print on demand stuff to make good money off of so i hope this tutorial was extremely helpful to you and uh, if you need any more videos like this, please do tell me. I am always available and I will give you the easiest step-to-step -step guides for any type of videos that you demand. And uh, if you have any queries regarding this video, you can let me know down in the comments. And uh, yeah, I guess I'll see you next time. Before signing off, please like and subscribe to the channel. And uh, leave down a nice comment if you watch the video. And please don't forget to share this video with uh, any of your friends in need or your family. And uh, I hope you all have a great day. So until next time, I'll see you later and goodbye.